Get ready, we're gonna start to see much more development in AI because Google recently announced their new AI supercomputer. And the interesting part is they say that it beats NVIDIA. Now this is a big deal because Google is bringing more competition in the high performance computing space. NVIDIA owns over 90% market share in this space. So the extra competition that Google is bringing to the table is gonna be good for innovation. But let's take a step back. Let's explain what is high performance computing and how it's related to the advancement of artificial intelligence. High performance computing, HPC, is known to have very powerful computing power, hence the name high performance computing. Now, in order to properly train your AI, you need to have a lot of computing power, and this is because there are billions or trillions of parameters that the AI needs to learn from, and that requires a lot of power in order to execute properly. And because of that, high performance computing plays a crucial role for the advancement of AI. If you want to train your AI now, you need to rent your computing power from popular services like AWS, Google Cloud, or even Microsoft Azure. Now remember, NVIDIA owns over 90% of the high performance computing market. Now the A100 system from NVIDIA is one of the most widely used GPU for HPC. Now Google's new supercomputer, the TPU V4, is almost two times faster and two times more energy efficient than NVIDIA's A100 system. Now you might be thinking like, what is the real use case behind high performance performance computing other than just having a lot of power to feed through those parameters. So with HPC, there are two primary components in AI. One, you have real-time AI, and two, you have pre-trained AI models. Now with real-time AI, you're gonna need to process any data, analyze and respond to new data as it becomes available. So this makes low latency responses crucial in order for this to work. Now this is gonna be the highest energy consumption for high performance computing because it's gonna require a lot of power in order to meet that kind of demand of real-time data. So think self-driving cars, robotics, or real-time analytics. So in order to handle that kind of growth in AI, you're gonna have to have a lot of computing power and that infrastructure needs to be built. So when you have other competitors, especially someone as big as Google, this is gonna help drive more innovation and competition. Now with real-time AI, you will need to process, analyze, and respond to new data as it becomes available. So in order to be real-time, low latency is crucial in order for this all to work. In order for us to handle this level of advancement in AI, high performance computing would also have to grow its infrastructure exponentially. In essence, HPC infrastructure needs to grow in order for AI to be scalable and integrated with everyday life. So it might not be a bad idea to look into stocks that are around HPC as future long-term investments. No, AI is the future and it's not going anywhere. And this is only going to get bigger. And as it gets bigger, the high performance computing space, the market must also get bigger to support that kind of growth. So do your own research on potential stocks and let me know in the comment section below what you guys find. If you want a video on that, let this video hit over 100 likes and I'll make a video on it. Now number two, you have pre-trained models. Pre-trained models would have already been trained on large data sets. When you start to train your AI, it requires a lot of computing power during this process. But once the AI is finished its training, it enters something called the inference state. And what it does is it uses all of the information, all of the possible parameters and its own logic to create answers based on the prompts you give it. After that AI is trained, you don't need much more HPC in order to have it function. It has all the work done and it's just like functioning based off of the parameters you trained it on. Popular tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard are all in their inference stage and just giving you answers based off of the things it learned. I believe ChatGPT has information up until 2021 in September. So anything after that, it doesn't really have any knowledge, but anything before that, it knows everything and when you look at all the ai tools that are available right now a lot of them are based on the inference stage which is good because it shows what ai could possibly do given the right information but the next evolution for ai to grow is to have that bridge between real-time data and the artificial intelligence but in order for that to happen the high performance computing market must grow exponentially to meet that kind of demand 
So when we start to see Google come out with HPC hardware to compete against NVIDIA, it will result into an accelerated innovation. And this is because Google and NVIDIA would be in competition, which would promote more investment into research and development. This will all lead to faster advancement in high performance computing. And this will all result into an accelerated timeline for real time AI. And there are two more things to note around this whole advancement in high performance computing. One, it will have positive impacts on the environment. HPC uses a lot of energy right now. And as more people compete in the HPC market, that's going to bring more development in more energy efficient machines. And also more competition will bring down the barrier to enter to other companies who are trying to incorporate AI in their business. And remember, AWS for cloud computing takes up the majority of the market share. And the one thing about AWS is it is incredibly expensive to run. So if you are a small AI project with limited funds, using AWS is probably not the most cost effective avenue. More competition will create more data centers and more options for these smaller organizations to make their AI smarter and train them more effectively. So to sum everything up, the advancement in HPC, particularly with Google's TPU V4 supercomputer, are paving the way for a more competitive and innovative AI landscape. This growth of HPC infrastructure will not only enable real-time AI applications, but also help improve pre train models, transforming various industries and making AI more accessible to a broader audience. We are in a time where we're witnessing everything move incredibly fast. It's so hard to keep up with all the development that's happening every single day, but I will do my best to keep you guys updated. So please hit the subscribe and bell notification button so you guys don't miss any future content. Let me know your thoughts on the HPC race between Nvidia and Google. Do you think that Nvidia will remain on top or do you think Google can take a lot lot of market share away from them. Whatever the case is, let me know in the comment section below. But that is the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.